The Environment Agency warns of possible water shortages this summer after the driest spring on record. Good morning, everybody. Wednesday, the 14th of May, and the Environment Agency is warning of possible water shortages after the driest start to spring on record. It comes amid calls for a new national water grid to be set up in England to help distribute supplies in times of drought. Here's our rural affairs correspondent, Jenny Kumar. Across many parts of the UK, the land is looking parched. On the ground, it already feels like a drought. Really, really dry, Jenny. We've never had such an unusual uh, dry spell for, for many, many years. It's just we are having a drought now from an agricultural point of view. What well, that means we have to ration our water and decide which areas we're going to put the, wa the water to in order to keep those crops growing. Here in Norfolk, crops are showing signs of heat stress. The county's only had a quarter of its normal rain this spring. Nick, like many farmers, has had to start irrigating much earlier than usual. If we don't have the resources, or we do have potentially extremely long droughts, we are going to be struggling to produce the food to start at the beginning of that supply chain. What that could mean, it could mean things could be imported more. With climate change causing more extreme conditions, Nick and neighbouring farmer Tim decided to build this reservoir to help them cope. When it's completely full, which is up to the top of the, uh, the white line, uh, we can hold in our scheme about 270,000 uh, cubic metres, uh, which is about the same as 108 uh, Olympic-sized swimming pools. This cost a million pounds and took more than four years. Some say the current funding and planning system makes projects like this a headache. It has been a challenge. It's been hard work. The government says it's working with the sector to help it improve its water resilience, providing practical and financial support. With warnings of a possible drought this summer, the spotlight is once again on how water companies will meet demand and avoid restrictions like hosepipe bans. One of the ways to ensure future supplies to dry regions like here in the east is to move water hundreds of miles from wetter parts of the country and that's what this pipeline will do. This half a billion pound project will connect to the north and link to this reservoir under construction in Suffolk. The industry body Water UK wants grids like this across the country, but they come at a huge cost. So we know that any bill rise is, you know, is never wanted by customers. That's why as part of this five year business plan, we've got our biggest ever package of support for people who are genuinely struggling to pay that bill. But there really is no alternative to investing in infrastructure like this to secure that water supply for the future. The government says it secured £104 billion of private sector investment for new infrastructure, including nine new reservoirs. Although there's agreement that improvements are needed, the debate over who should pay for it shows no signs of dampening down. Jenny Kumar, BBC News, Suffolk.